What is up, Rat Potential, and welcome to today's Rally Car Restoration video of Mad Progress. So, I've spent quite a few hours cleaning and preparing the bottom of this car for a new layer of coating. And the plan is, I'm going to lay down some primer here today. I'm going to put my rock guard on the outer sections, and then we'll end up running regular paint down the trans tunnel, so within the frame rails and stuff. So what have we done? Well, we went through and we stripped, I'm going to say 95%, 98% of all of the existing undercoating off of the car. There's areas like in the pinch welds and stuff that are really hard to get to, but that undercoat doesn't just come off, so um, it's kind of a real pain to get it off. So I don't think or foresee it giving, a giving us a major issue like paint starting to come off and it's mainly in the areas where the undercoats or the rock guard is going to be going down so it's not going to be a big a big deal but we got pretty much all of it off stripped all the fender wells out we got all this all off every single basically nut and bolts off the bottom of the car and uh, it has been hand sanded wiped down once wiped down twice so today we are ready to throw some primer down so that is what we are getting ready to do. I gotta let my wax and grease remover stuff dry. <coughs> let that dry, and then uh, we should be ready to spray. I'm gonna get some fans set up for some ventilation, and uh, then we'll be cooking with gas. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have clean parts, and I'm stoked to show you guys what's going on. So, it's before the end of the night, but at the end, the very end of the night, I'm going to spray my rock guard on uh, the car. So, I did a little test portion right down here, and uh, it came out really good. Thing I've learned, um, when you're using, like, spray can rock guard, spray can bed liner, and you're painting over something... Always do a small test session for test spot first. Let it dry. Make sure that your can, like that you got it good and well and shooken up and stuff. Because I didn't want to douse the whole thing in this material I've never sprayed before, and have it literally pull the paint. So I've had clear coat in a can like mess up the paint underneath. So <clears throat> be aware of that. But this is the bottom of the car. It's like you know the cleanest that it's ever gonna be ever. You know, until I start putting bolts and stuff on it, little mosquitoes start landing on it. Um, we cleaned the axle, I cleaned the front suspension stuff, and all of those parts there will get torn down, inspected, cleaned, again, painted, and put back together, such that they can go on the car looking fresh. The other thing is we're going to get an energy suspension polyurethane bushing kit, and I'm going to replace all the bushings. Um, in the rear suspension and front suspension with that. 
Now, some of y'all probably read or noticed or seen or whatever that these cars have a tendency to have like rear suspension issues um, when you run all polyurethane bushings. So what I'm going to do is show you guys some ways to combat that. Um, and these are ways that most, I don't think I've seen too many of them on the forums and stuff yet, but I have chatted up a few or one in particular um, of my old rally connections and he has lended some of the old group b advice and group c advice to basically how they came about fixing some of this rear geometry issues within the rules of group c which you can't modify the um like suspension mounting locations or you couldn't go to like a pan hard bar and stuff whereas like group b was do whatever you want so um but anyways look for that stuff in the next video we're going to finish this video out of me spraying a clear substance on the bottom of this car. And, uh, yeah, I got some work to do cleaning these engine parts. I'm not going to show you guys that. You've seen me clean engine parts before. I could put a time lapse in if you really want me to. Comment below if you want me to time lapse the engines I do, but it's another rotary engine getting clean. So I'm going to clean that and do that. And I will uh, catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Keep it red. All right, we're going to call this the after keep it rad bonus feature of a couple minutes. So, all of the uh, rocker guard is done, and it looks super good. Apologize for my dog barking, but the rocker guard is just from the frame rails out. Generally speaking, you're going to see a lot more dirt and rocks and stuff coming up through here to tear all this up than you would see action down here. So, that's why that rocker guard's there. Basically, it's like a nice, thick, clear, um, textured clear to go over your paint so you do it on your rockers where it's painted already the other thing just want to update you on the rotor motor assembly this week so rotors are clean and assembled i did that last night the apex seals are all cleaned ready to rip um all the assembly requirements here ready to go oil pan bolts cleaned uh, front rear stationary go bolts are cleaned everything's cleaned ready to rip the irons all fresh cleaned up ready to rip all the coolant glues coolant glues grooves are all cleaned prepped ready for new coolant seals got a fresh coat of black on here because red not that cool black and silver paint all your engines black and silver it's the best color combo um tension bolts are cleaned ready for new washers so that's the the one minute update at the end of the video excited to put this together hunter's never uh seen a rotary engine or built a rotary engine himself so this should be a quick and easy pop it back together whenever he gets here tomorrow. He's got the housings, oil pan, and front cover. Um, those are parts that basically they just need cleaned up, repainted, put back in. On an FC, there's no coolant grooves to worry about in the housing, so it's pretty easy to get it get it ready for uh, ready to be put back together. Front cover, same thing. Oil pan, anyone can clean an oil pan, paint it black. So I sent that stuff with him. It takes a good load off of me. You know a couple hours worth of work getting that stuff clean so with that we're going to be assembling this engine whenever you guys are watching this video so look for the assembly video coming up next and uh i will see you guys later peace keep it rad the second time <laughs>